Hey lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today's cleaning video is a nighttime cleaning, which I hope you guys enjoy. And I also wanted to mention that there's a new campaign for Grove and you could get this replaceable head dish brush, also some dish soap, hand soap, and hand lotion of whatever scent you want, all for free when you sign up. So make sure you check the description box to see how you could get all of this for free. Okay, we are starting tonight with some wash. I am doing Penelope's wash. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started so that way while I clean, it could just get washed and then I could just switch it. And by the end of my cleaning, I could just go ahead and fold her clothes. So once I have this wash going, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the cleaning and I'm gonna start in Penelope's bathroom, which I have been saying I need to clean and I just haven't done it. So now that Tom came home early, we had dinner earlier, Penelope is already bathed and he's hanging with her. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the bathroom before she goes to sleep. I mentioned guys that her bathroom is right next to her room and she's a super light sleeper so I could never clean it um, when she's sleeping and I could never clean it when she's awake because she just wants to touch everything. So. This is when I'm doing it. So I am using the Miss Myers Vinegar Gel Cleanser. This is a no rinse cleanser, so you don't really need to rinse it. But because I am cleaning her bathtub with it, I feel like I need to rinse it. All I did was put some water in the bathtub just to wet my brush. I put the gel all over the walls and the bathtub, and I am just using this brush to scrub everything. So I just keep going back into the water just to wet the brush and make sure everything is nice and um, polished, polished, not polished, scrubbed. <laughs> So once I scrubbed everything, I'm gonna go ahead and let that product sit there for a few minutes. While that happens, I am gonna clean the toilet. I am using the Method Toilet Bowl Cleaner and also some of this Miss Myers Baking Soda Cleanser. I feel because we don't use this toilet that much, sometimes it could get rings from the water just sitting there. So I like to use the baking soda and that really, really helps those rings. Um, once I scrub it with the brush and then to clean the toilet seat all I'm using is the tub and towel concentrate from Grove. As always I use a sponge for the toilet that I put the word toilet in and also the smaller piece of German chamois I know is just to clean the toilet and then the bigger piece is what I use to clean the counters and everything else. Okay guys, so this is definitely off topic, but can we see a little more definition on my muscles or am I going crazy? I honestly am entering my four week of eating clean and working out like crazy in this program. And I don't see a lot of difference when I look at myself in the mirror, but then looking at this video, I could definitely tell that my arms and my back are a little more toned and also that I don't have as much back fat as I did. Plus. These leggings did not fit me a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago and now they fit me without giving me like a huge muffin top. I'm not saying the difference is like huge but I feel like I could see some difference. Okay, I just wanted to say that because I'm like, hey girl, look at your back, look at those arms. <laughs> Okay, back to cleaning. Once I rinse the shower, which takes forever, I am using the Grove cleaner concentrate just to clean the outside of the tub and then I'm just putting everything back in there to move on to the sinks and the counter. So to clean the sinks again I am using the vinegar gel cleanser just putting some of that in the sink and then I am going in with a sponge and scrubbing the sinks even though they're pretty clean because again we don't use this bathroom much but I feel like every time I clean this bathroom I just do it really really good since I don't do it as often as the other one. So I am scrubbing them with a sponge, rinsing them out a little bit, and then to clean the counters, all I'm using is the Grove Concentrate, the multi-surface concentrate cleaner, and my German chamois, and then going back in with a towel. And I know I still have my snowman towels, don't judge me, I keep forgetting to change them, but it's happening. <laughs> Cold, 
so I know I don't do a lot of nighttime cleaning videos um, that's because by the time nighttime comes I am exhausted and I don't want to clean but I do know that for working moms nighttime cleaning sometimes is the time that they have to get their house clean so maybe it will be helpful I know I used to clean at night all the time before I had Penelope when I used to work so let me know if you would like to see more of those I did like waking up to a super spanking clean house so maybe I'll start cleaning at nighttime once in a while even if I don't like it much I feel like it has really good benefits <laughs> Once the sink and the counters are all done, I am using the Grove Glass Cleanser Concentrate to clean the mirrors. You guys know that this is probably the only product I use to clean glass or mirrors because it's amazing. So if you haven't tried it out, you need to. Like this is way better than the Method Glass Cleaner. For sure, a hundred times. You need to try this. <laughs> So once all the cleaning is done, I'm just adding some final touches, <laughs> emptying out the trash can, getting rid of the old mats and towels, and putting out fresh towels and mats. And then I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum and move on to the kitchen. So back in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and get started with a few dishes that are left that we don't put in the dishwasher and also doing a few things just to close down the kitchen for the night. I'm starting by cleaning this dish where I keep my soaps because it always gets soapy and nasty. So I'm going to go ahead and wash that and then wash whatever I have in the sink. I am using my new dish soap, the peony smell, which I had and then I ran out. So I just reordered it because I love the way this thing smells. It smells so good. I also love the mint. So what I do is I keep the dish soap peony and then the hand soap mint so then I get the best of both worlds <laughs> I'm so silly but once I finish these dishes I'm gonna go ahead and clean the sink really good because I don't think we'll be eating anything else so it will be nice and clean for tomorrow so as usual i first just scrub the sink with soap and water and then i'm gonna use this bon amy powder cleanser just to polish the stainless steel so i go ahead and put this all over the sink and then i use a sponge and i scrub it down and then rinse it with really hot water This just keeps your sink super shiny and clean. I love using this. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go ahead and dry my little dish, put my soaps and everything, and move on to polishing everything else. So tone clean after dinner, so the kitchen is pretty much clean. So all I'm doing here is just giving everything a quick polish. I am using the Wayman's glass top 
polisher just to polish the top of the stove because it's already clean um, you guys know I love this stuff I use paper towel to do it because I feel like it works better than a towel or anything else and I just love the way that this makes my stove look it just looks so nice and shiny it makes me not want to use it again <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Wayman Stainless Steel Spray to polish all the appliances. Like I mentioned on my last cleaning video, now that Penelope is walking, all you see at the end of the night is her little prints all over the appliances. So every night just been polishing this because, I mean, it drives me crazy. So I am polishing everything and then moving on to drying the dishes that I just washed. Like I said before, Tone did clean, but I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this down because I'm sure we have some snacks on this side. So I'm gonna just clean this side of the island and then move on to the living room. So before I'm done with the kitchen, I am using the 7 generation disinfectant spray, it's kind of like a Lysol, and then just cleaning the garbage can with it. Penelope has an obsession with the garbage can and picking at the bag, so now every night I've been cleaning this with this disinfectant, which is better than the Lysol because it doesn't have any toxins, but it does not smell good but I have to do it because she is obsessed with the garbage for some reason. Once that's done, I just clean her high chair, which Tone never cleans, so I gotta do this. <laughs> and then I am moving to the living room, and as usual, I am picking up a hundred toys of the floor. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like there's no point of me doing this, but it just makes me feel better. I did cut it short for you guys because I was here for probably like 10 minutes cleaning up and finding pieces to puzzles and putting toys away. <laughs> Once I'm done with the toys, it's just a little tidy up in the living room and I'm gonna go ahead and switch the wash to the dryer. That way by the time I'm done, I could just go ahead and fold her clothes. So now to finish cleaning, of course, I am vacuuming. If you know me, you know that there is no cleaning done unless I vacuum. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum just the areas that are more traffic throughout the day. The living room, we're always hanging out here and you know, Penelope's always dragging stuff. So I always tend to vacuum the living room no matter what. And then I'm also just vacuuming the dining room around the area where she eats just because there's always food on the floor and I usually just use my handheld vacuum but because I am doing a deeper clean tonight I'm just vacuuming the whole thing with my regular vacuum and then I'm also gonna go ahead and vacuum the kitchen just the area where we do all the cooking because again there's always stuff on the floor there so I'm doing that and because the vacuum was already out I go ahead and vacuum my bedroom you know, I'm obsessed with vacuuming my bedroom, so I just do that before I do a little mopping.
chasing whatever kills for so long i forgot how it feels in the dark of night so once I'm done vacuuming everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just Swiffer the floors. I am using my Swiffer Jet with the Swiffer floor cleaner in the lavender scent. I love the way this stuff smells, so I like to use it at night. And I also mopped yesterday with the regular spin mop, so I'm just using this tonight. And again, all I'm doing is cleaning the more traffic areas or where I know it could be any spills or food so this side of the kitchen around the trash can and also around the area where penelope's high chair is because there's for sure something there that needs to be mopped so i'm doing that and then i'm just gonna go ahead and do this area of the living room and then we'll be all done So all this cleaning took me about an hour and a half to do and it's still early, it's about 9 or 9.30 so I still have some time to relax. Um, all I have to do is wait for Penelope's wash to be done drying and then I'm just going to go ahead and fold it. But I did this this night because the next day we had a really busy day and I knew I wouldn't have time to do any type of cleaning or tidy up. And I'm so glad I did it because the next morning it just felt so good to wake up to a house super clean and just have to worry about breakfast and getting out of the door so maybe i'll start doing this a little more often you guys let me know what you think but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more nighttime cleaning and don't forget to click on that bell so you get notified every time we post a video bye guys